Hi everyone! There is a new feature in Excel called Geography Data Type, which makes it easy to retrieve geography related data such as population, area, life expectancy, flag, etc., associated with each country, as well as some statistics associated with states, cities, or postcode within a country. In the past, you'll need to do independent research then compile your data, charting them and integrating them into your main Excel spreadsheet. Now, these informations are made available at your fingertips. The catch is that you need to be connected to the internet and be on Excel Microsoft 365. Let me show you. Let's start by looking at the first table where we have a list of countries and we want to populate the populations and life expectancy. There is a way to do that by using geography data type and you go to data and click geography while selecting the country's name. And notice how a template sign appear on the left, which is clickable. When you click it, the country's information show up. See how you have lots of things such as population. Now, when you click extract population to grid, the population um, for Indonesia is retrieved. And it's a formula, it says before the population. So you can copy this formula to, to get Singapore population and Australian population. Isn't that exciting? Now, there is method number two, which is when you click Indonesian name, there is that icon that says insert data, where you can also insert information that you want. For example, we can get life expectancy and we have 71 years old uh, being the life expectancy in indonesia and if you double click that you can get the information from singapore and australia too so you can get access to lots of information at your fingertips by converting your information your data into geography data type not only for countries, it can also be done for states and for postcodes and for cities. Yeah. So let's look at example of states. So I have New South Wales, Victoria, and I'm going to add one more, uh, which is Queensland. Now, usually when you have three in a row, Excel will prompt you if we want to convert to geography. And if you click it, it will automatically get converted. Same as the one above, you can click plus sign over there and you can get the population. And if you double click it, uh, you've got the information. Now, if you want to, you can convert this into table uh, format, format as table by control T, and it will have an added benefit. The added benefit is if you want to retrieve additional information, for example, housing units, with one click, everything is populated. So time zone, for example. One click and everything is populated, including the column name. So it makes it even faster to get information. Now, so we have seen examples for countries and state. Now let's look at example for postcodes. So I have type 2020, which is an Australian postcode. And if we want to convert it to data type, the manual way is go to data and go to geography, click it. And notice now we have a question mark sign instead of a pamphlet sign. And that's because postcode 2020 exists not only in Australia, but in multiple countries. So Excel is confused. Which one do we want? In the data selector area on the side, it tells us there are two options. Yeah. There is one in here, if you hover, it says one in Belgium and one in Australia. Now, say I'm going to select the one in Belgium, click select. Yeah. And then what if we change our mind and we say, hold on, why am I selecting Belgium? I want the Australian one. What you can do is change it. Yeah. How do we do that? We can, maybe we can get the city first before we change. So the city is Antwerp. So that's in Belgium. And if we want to change that to an Australian city, then what we can do is we can right click and data type change and select the one in Australia, which is this. 
Australia. Select that. Click select. And notice how it becomes mascot now. If you click that and select the country, now we know that's the Australian one. That's a bit cumbersome because postcode can exist in many countries and we don't want to have to manually select one by one by one if there is a duplication of postcode number in one country and another country. My recommendation is to set up your data a little bit differently, have country as one column and postcode as the next column. So for example, in here I have Australia as one column and then postcode, I'm going to type 2020 in there. Notice when I'm selecting both Australia and the postcode and go to data, geography, Excel is no longer confused. It knows right away that 2020 that I want belongs to Australia instead of the Belgium one. You can click the city and we know it's the correct one, which is mascot. That's it about geography data type. I sincerely hope that you have learned something new and find the video useful and informative. If so, please let me know by hitting the like button or by leaving your comments and suggestions for improvement for future videos. See you next time.